hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew a keyhole neckline on a bustier top so if that sounds like something you're interested in please keep on watching hit on the subscribe button and let's get started Two souls we shared the pieces of ourselves it's perfect timing now we fuel the flames so guys welcome back again so first of all we're going to quickly draft the pattern for this top on a pattern paper i have my pattern paper here and my drawing materials so first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to draw the straight line across here at the top of this paper this is going to serve as our shoulder line so now the next thing i want to do is from this shoulder line i'm going to come down to my bust point which is 10 inches i made the mark there my under bust at 13 inches i made the mark there as well and then my waist at 16 inches so i'm just going to use my ruler to connect these lines across so guys go ahead and label your lines as well just like i did here so once you're through with that come to the shoulder line this top line here divide your shoulder measurement into two equal halves mine is 14 that divided by two is seven so i made a point at seven and from that point i made i came down by one inch to get my shoulder slope now coming to the middle of the neckline i'm coming in by three inches this is how wide i want my neckline to be so now we we'll just connect these two points here to get my shoulder slope okay so now from this new point you're going to place your tape here for you to know how long your armhole is going to be go ahead and divide your bust measurement by six and add 1.5 to that so i did that and mine was seven inches i made a point at seven inches and then used my ruler to create a line across so go ahead and do the same thing and once you're through with that connect from the shoulder now to this new line that you got this new line is actually our chest line so i'll just label it cl so guys the next thing you want to do is come to the bust line which is labeled bl and you're going to divide your bust span measurement which is also your nipple to nipple measurement into two and make a point there mine was three and a half so i made that point on the bust line and also on the waistline so i'll go ahead and use my ruler now to connect the both points so now from this bust point here this bust line i'm going to come down by one inch and once you have done that the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come to this shoulder slope here and you're going to divide what you have in between the shoulder slope into two equal halves i got mine and i just made a point there so i'll just connect it to meet the bust point so now we're going to come to this neck area and i'm going to determine how deep i want my neckline to be so i'm just coming down by three inches here so i'm just going to use my curve now to connect a round neckline so guys the next thing you want to do is you're going to come to the under bust line and the part going towards the middle of your dress you're going to mark half of an inch on the under bust line and on the waistline if you're on a bigger side go ahead and mark 0.7 inches now on the other side which is the part going towards the side of the dress i'm marking one and a half inch on both the under bust line and the waistline if you're on the bigger side you can go ahead and use 1.7 inches or you can use two inches for this particular part so once you have done that go ahead and connect the lines just like i did here now go ahead and connect a curve from this line to meet that one inch that we came down by earlier from the under bust line okay so go ahead and do it just the same way you see me doing like this so guys the next thing we want to do is we're going to come to this top here now you can decide to maintain the chest line and take your measurement here or you can decide to go up from the chest line so for me i decided to go up from the chest line by one inches it all depends on how covered you want your um bustier to be so i'm coming up by one inch and i'm just going to use my ruler to create a line to meet the armhole so now once you've drawn this line the next thing you want to do is that the part going towards the side of the dress right you are going to go ahead and mark 0.7 inches i'm going to be marking 0.7 inches here so i'll go ahead and mark 0.7 inches and then for the side going towards the center of the dress we are going to mark one inch okay so go ahead and mark one inch so i'm going to connect these two points now with my curve rule to meet the bust point just go ahead and do it just the same way you see me doing like this 
so now the next thing i want to do is we're going to get our sweetheart neckline for the middle of our bustier so now what i want to do is i want to come down a little bit from the chest line you can actually decide to maintain the chest line it's all up to you so i am going to be using my curve i will just arrange it in such a way that it's go it goes a little bit below the chest line just like it's me doing like this and i just created my curve can you see so this is going to give us a sweeter neckline by the time i open it up so now for this other side i'm just going to connect a curve to the armhole but then i realized that at this point i've not even um drawn out our armhole so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now so go ahead and divide what you have from on your armhole line into two equal halves make a point there and from that point go in by half of an inch and on the chest line go ahead and divide your bust measurement by four and make a point there now you're going to connect all the three points that you have now from the shoulder points to the one in the middle and the one on the chest line go ahead and connect them just like you see me doing like this it will give you a nice armhole so now i'm going to connect from the top of the other side of my bustier into the armhole just like you see me doing like this okay go ahead and do the same thing so now we're basically done with the bustier part of this i'm just going to go ahead and add my body measurements to all of this so on the chest line here go ahead and divide your bust measurement by four we already did that to get the armhole but divide your bust measurement by four and make a point there then you're going to measure what you have in between which is your dart intake and you're going to replace it and then add extra one and a half inch for stitching allowance okay once you've done that come to the waistline my waist measurement divided by four is six and I'm, I'm taking the that intake i have here which was about two inches i marked it here and then i added an extra one and a half inch for stitching allowance so i'm just going to join the two points together like this to get my slant okay once i'm true with that once you're true with that just go ahead and finish up the armhole and then the ends of the top with your ruler so we're going to be cutting off this area here that i'm marking this area and this area here okay and for the keyhole neckline i'm not going to be cutting it out yet so i just want to um first of all make this neckline a little bit more visible so that you guys know that this is going to be part of it this is going to be the keyhole um area of this bustier top that we're making and then i'm just going to use my hand to just connect these two parts here to just make my yoke more visible okay so now this is the yoke area i'm just going to leave it like this for now i'll be showing you how to get the keyhole later in the course of the video so let's just go ahead and cut this out right now so guys these are the front pieces let me go ahead and show you how to draft the back part so for the back pattern you're just going to cut out first of all draft out a basic bodice which is what i've done here it's very similar to what i showed you guys in the beginning of this video but one thing you will notice is that i left some space before i started taking my measurements which is our zipper allowance for the back and as you can see i've labeled it zip okay so this is just um the major difference between the front and the back pattern right so um for the back you can decide not to actually give it a yoke you can decide to just make use of it like this and just cut the whole back as a full piece instead of joining uh, another piece to it as a yoke um putting a yoke at the back of this is totally optional it's totally up to you but for those of you who might want to put a yoke what i want to do now is to just use my curve ruler here to just make a slant just a curve from the armhole towards the back of the dress and i will label the upper part the yoke like i said before this is optional so this from here towards the up is going to be the yoke for this top and you can also decide not to slant it you can decide to actually make it go straight instead of the curve i made here now coming down to this waist i'm coming in from the zipper by one inch this is for us to remove any bulging at the back of our dress okay so come out after making that one inch wherever your one inch point and then come out like i did here and then just draw a slant into towards the neckline of um the back pattern so that's basically all for this pattern i will just go ahead and cut it out now hey, what the hell? 
So guys, these are the back patterns here and then these are the front patterns that we drafted earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this now to cut on the actual fabric. So for the actual fabric, I have this black crepe and then I have this beautiful print, Akara print, okay? So for the yoke area, I'm going to be using this black crepe and for the other part of the dress, I'll be using the African print. So I've gone ahead to cut out my pieces on the uh, fabrics like i said and you can see for the two yokes i use my black rep and i and you can see that i added stitching allowance around my pattern paper while i was cutting okay now for the other part of the dress the body of the dress i am using my african print fabric so you can see for the other part of the front i use the print and for the back as well i use the print for the down parts also i've gone ahead to cut out um, the skirt part of this dress. I'm actually making this into a dress. So this is the skirt part um, But the major thing I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this tutorial is how to stitch the keyhole part of this um, Top so what I'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and iron estate to all the pieces so I also went ahead to um, cut out lining pieces with my fabrics so I cut out lining pieces and iron estate to all of them so go ahead and do the same thing if you don't have a stay you can actually leave it but i would advise that if you have it please iron your stay to all your pieces so now the next thing i want to do is i want to cut out wording that i'm going to be using to part the bustier area of this top so these are the wording pieces if you don't know what um, a wording is called some people also call it padded so this is it and as you can see i made all the padded um pieces a little bit shorter than my actual fabric so you can see i stopped my padding at where my curve actually ended okay so go ahead and cut it out the same way and for the sides as well make sure that you are arranging it properly you can see i cut it out like this and ended my wording my wording actually ended where my curves ended okay so let me just show you guys what it's looking like from the inside can you see so go ahead and cut out all your wording pieces just the same way i've done it here like this and then the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is we're going to pin this down i'm just going to go ahead and pin all these wording pieces down on my actual fabric and then we'll go ahead and stitch it down so now once you've pinned the wording to the actual fabric what you want to do is you're going to place your fabric together like this just like you see me doing like this right sides facing each other you're going to start pinning from the end of the fabric so i'm going to pin it down and i'm just going to continue to arrange my pieces together as i pin just um arrange everything together make sure that you're arranging it properly but make sure that you're starting from the end don't start from the top of this um particular pieces please make sure that when you're pinning it down pin from the end so that if there's any excess it will be at the top and it will be easy for you to just trim it away okay so go ahead and pin this around just like you see me doing like this hey what the hell why are you hanging on the roof all by yourself i have an open invitation but you're telling me go get lost so guys once you're done pinning it down you can open it up and you see that you already have that nice um, bustier shape ready even without stitching it down yet so now we'll go over to the sewing machine and stitch this down here and here so guys this is what it looks like after i was done stitching it down i went ahead to iron my seams open so you can see how nicely it looks okay so this is how yours is going to look as well once you've done it rightly now i've also gone ahead to stitch down my lining pieces just like i did for the actual fabric as well so this is what we have so now i'll just go ahead and trim off these places here at the top that came out looking weird okay now that this is why i told you guys to make sure that you stitch from the ends of your pieces okay so now to place the yoke if you're actually going to be stitching a normal yoke to your fabric you can just go ahead and stitch this directly but since we are going to be working on a keyhole neckline for this one we need to cut the yoke so as you can see i just went ahead to fold my um top piece into two that's the bustier that i'm working on i folded it into two equal halves just like you see me doing like this and i'm just pinning it down i'll also fold the yoke back into two like this and then i'm going to be placing them 
on each other like this just place it about half an inch on top of each other just like you see me doing like this and i'm going to go ahead and pin it in place so guys once you're through with that the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out our keyhole okay so now what you want to do is you're going to determine how long you want um the distance from your neckline to where your keyhole will start from so i'm just marking three inches here okay three inches here and then how wide do you want it to be you can decide to stop it actually at this joining we have on our bustier or you can come in by some inches so i went from the bustier line i went in by about two inches and as you can see i'm just making a curve from that point to meet the point at the middle of the top if you do not understand all the english i'm speaking just look at what i'm doing right now okay so once you're through with that go ahead and remove the pins um, and then leave it and just extend the line to get to the end of the fabric and then this is our keyhole i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out so guys you can see how nice it looks already just by cutting it out okay so now what i want to go ahead and do now is to cut out another piece exactly like this to serve as a lining piece so i'll just use it and turn the neckline and this other curve over and i'll be right back so guys this is what i had now this is what i have i've stitched the neck area and around the um, keyhole that i have here so i've stitched it down and you can see that both the front and the back is exactly the same because i use the same fabric to line it okay so now what i want to do is we're going to place this keyhole on the neck area like this and i'm going to take the measurements of where it's supposed to actually be on the um fabric itself so that it doesn't become too big or being too small so okay make sure that you arrange everything properly just like i'm doing like this and then once you're through with that go ahead and pin it in place so guys once you're done pinning it down make sure you open it like this to be sure that it's actually sitting perfectly before you go ahead and add the lining to it okay so i'm going to place my lining piece on this right sides facing each other like this you can see that i'm yet to trim off the lining piece for now but i'm going to do that actually by the time i'm done stitching this down so i'm just going to pin my lining piece on the actual fabric just go ahead and do it just the same way you'd see me doing it like this go ahead and pin it all the way around the top of the actual fabric so guys this is what i have okay so i'll go over to the sewing machine now and stitch this area down and i'll make a top stitch as well so after i was done stitching it down i went ahead to turn it over to the right side and made a top stitch towards the lining and just stitch down the sides this is what it looks like so this is how to actually sew down your keyhole neckline so when i pinned it on my body form you can see how nicely it's looking so this is actually how simple it is to make a keyhole neckline i'll be finishing up this tutorial later um, adding the skirt part and every other part and i'll share that in a vlog so thank you so much for watching this video today i hope that you find it helpful and i'll be seeing you guys in my next one bye